Bomb Pops. No FX. Days and Days. Ignite. My name is Fat Mike. I'm an old punk rocker. Who's more well known for being a shit talker? A troublemaker and iconoclast. I thought I'd do more damage with my own podcast. Roadies. Dave Pollock. And Karina from the Dance Hall Crashers. All talk about poop stories. Episode 26, Shit Talking with Fat Mike. Hi, this is Fat Mike, and we're on the Punk and Drumlet Tour in Europe. On, and this is how you tour, on a, on a tour bus with all the bands. It's very friendly. We even, uh, we even let Ignite on the bus, and they're hardcore. Uh, so, this is called Shit Talking. On, uh, with Fat Mike. So, everybody, say who you are, what band you're in, and tell a story about a terrible time you had uh, with feces, or just talk shit about someone. All at the same time. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Eric Melvin. Hi, Eric. What Hi, band Eric. are you in? Hi, Eric. I play guitar in the band No Effects. Woo! No Effects. <laughs> And rather than talking shit about someone, I, I'll talk about shit. And uh, when I was a kid, the family had a padded toilet seat. You know, because sometimes it takes a while and you want to be comfortable. Anybody else have a padded I, 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 I took many shits on that seat, and it was weird. <laughs> Funny that Mike thinks that's weird. <laughs> I don't know why Good that seemed that weird. Okay, All thank right, you. I'll pass go. the mic. Isn't this fun? This is fun. Hello, everybody. My name's Jesse. I play in Days and Days. Y'all are such lovely people. I don't really have anything to talk shit about. I guess maybe uh, the singer of Ignite can fuck off. Every time that dude walks by me, I'm like, fuck, I need to do push-ups or like sit-ups or something. <laughs> beautiful man. So there you go. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Jesse. I don't play in a band. Well, yes, you do. You have. That's true. I have. Hi, my name is Dave Pollock, and I guess I organize this crap. So why don't we talk about shit? Stand so, up and introduce yourself. So, <laughs> so, I remember, I think it was first grade, and I must have eaten something really bad, and I was on my way home, and I had shorts on, and boy, did it run right down my shorts. I'm telling you, it was pretty embarrassing, and I was happy to get home and wash it all off. Well, thank you very much, and I'm glad I could share that experience with you. <laughs> Dave Pollock, everybody. Al the Pollock. Hello, my name is Karina yeah. Danike, and I'm playing uh, keyboards in the band No Effects. What was your old band? The Dance Hall Crashers. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so <laughs> the shit story I'm coming up with at the moment, a friend of mine... Um, her toilet was broken or something, and there was a party upstairs, and her neighbors were having a party, and she had a crush on the uh, the guy upstairs, but she went upstairs, and she's like, well, I can use her toilet. This big party going on. She goes to use her bathroom, takes a massive dump. It won't flush. She's freaking out in there. People are waiting to get in the bathroom, so she shoves it up her sleeve. <laughs> and then has to leave the party, like, trying to, like, not talk to too many people with a piece of sh big turn up her sleeve. Yes! Not me. That was, that I, swear. Was, I swear it wasn't me. That was okay, Elise. Ro- Elise? That's <laughs> fucked up. What's up? I'm really? Joey. I'm oh, with Days and Days. Uh, I'm also in Cop Out and All Torn Up. Well, hopefully next time we'll be with you guys, I'm sure. Uh, I'll tell a shit, a shit story and talk shit, but I'll leave the person's name out of the story because you all know him and we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we can talk about it privately. I mean, yeah, you, you'll figure it out Go when ahead. I tell the story. You'll figure it out when I tell the story. Okay. So we're playing Columbus and uh, uh, this, this individual is absolutely shit brain out of his mind. He's, he performs 75% of the set in the fetal position on the ground in front of the entire crowd. Jim just, Lincoln. just blah, 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 uh, singing about crack and such. And then he runs off stage. I follow him off stage. I'm like, what's up? What's up? He's like, where's the bathroom? I'm like, this way. I'll show you. And he's like, no time, no time. He shits his pants. 
And he, I'm like, what do you want me to do? He's like, get some toilet paper. And I'm like, all right. I give him toilet paper. He doesn't take off his pants. He just wipes them in the pants, throws it at me, and gets back on stage. That's how you do. So, yeah. That's how you do it. That's how I learned how to tour manage. Hi, everybody. My name is El Jefe. I'm also, you know, it is Smokey. Smokey! Hi, everybody. I'm El Jefe. I'm from the band Light a Match. And a lot of people don't know this, but Jen Pop and I took Spanish together. Yeah. And I just want to say Azul, Biblioteca, Buena Mesa para Dos, por favor. Hey, everyone. I'm Peter. <laughs> I'm on tour with the Bump Pops. But this poop story is about another band, the only one that is not on this bus. It's Get Dead. Yeah. Yeah, Get Dead poop story. So in a four-week tour, four out of the five members of the band pooped their pants. And you can all guess who was the one who did not. I'll leave it there. Okay. <laughs> all right, everybody. My name is Smelly, and I play drums in NoFact. Hey, Smelly. I have two poop stories, but I'm going to put this out for a vote. One of them was in the book. Who read the book? Oh, too many. Okay, yeah, that's too many for this poop story. <laughs> the second one happened, this happened recently. I own a gym in Long Beach on a very, very popular street, very busy. I was driving to work about a year and a half ago, and one of those coffee shits first thing in the morning hits. Boom! Pressure back door, it's coming no matter what. As I'm driving, as I'm driving, the road's closed. They're doing construction. <laughs> Holy fuck. Straight leg, pucker up, going through the neighborhoods as fast as I can. By the time I get to the gym, it's there. I open the door, I have a large van. As I step out, butt crack opens, back door flows. <laughs> right on the right on the busy street, I got I got a load. I'm like, oh fuck, waddling, waddling, waddling. I get to the front door. I guess I'm loaded in the back, but it's not visible yet. Can't find the fucking key. <laughs> can't find, I have like 30 keys. I can't find the key to open up the fucking door. I drop my pants on the corner of 4th and Cherry. It's as busy it gets. 9 or 10 in the morning and just squat right on the fucking street. Yeah! Corner. <laughs> it, it, it piles up like a fucking brown sundae from Farrell's ice cream shop when we were kids. And I fucking take off all of my clothes on the corner of 4th and Cherry and I'm out there butt naked with now the shit running down my legs. Gets worse. <laughs> I waddle through the gym it's leaving shit footprints through the gym to the backyard which is shared by the back tenants I'm in the backyard with my shirt on my fucking penis hanging out and shit down the back of my legs going like this and the, the couple the old Mexican family live upstairs come walking out and the first thing they see at 9 in the morning is me fucking squirting my ass out with shit down my legs Yes. Gets worse. Oh. <laughs> you always win with the stories, Kelly. <laughs> I got no clothes to put on. The only thing we got there... Boxing gloves. Boxing short <laughs> made for 10-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put them on. The shirt's off now because it had residual. I put them on, and my nuts are hanging out one side, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with the shit all over the fucking floors <laughs> and on the street right in front of the fucking front door of the gym. <laughs> I go out there, I go out there, my shit's fucking, my balls hang out, I'm on the sidewalk cleaning it up, I hose it off, my co-worker shows up, she's like, what the fuck happened to you? And I, I kind of explain, and I, and, and whatever, I go to the bathroom, I had, I had the clothes in the washing machine were going, I go to the bathroom, I put, I, I put my clothes back on, she starts going through the security camera <laughs> from inside. And she sees me walking around naked with shit feet <laughs> all over her. And boy, did she give me shit about having a small fucking dick. <laughs> End of story. Yeah. No! How am I supposed to follow that? Yeah, that's, that's hard to follow. All right. Oh, you need to uh, Neil, bass player from the Bomb Pops. I have zero good shit stories, but I can easily say I disagree fully with Days and Days. You are all the worst people I've ever met. I'm not supposed to be on this bus. My chauffeur missed me, and I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm sure 
no, no, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for being the worst people ever. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you all. Oh, Goodbye. Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm Hi. Ines. Uh, I'm TMing the Bad Cop, and I'm selling Fedric merch on this. Yes. Um, Ines. Ines. That's the that's a joke. Uh, Doing Peters made twenty years ago. Yeah, you never heard that. Before. Um, <laughs> never, never again. Um, I have just a short shit story. I was the first in um, in Milan to take a shit in this nice <laughs> um, hole in the ground hole we had over there, and I was the last one who peed and flushed the toilet. There you go. <laughs> hey. hey. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Hey, my name's Chris, and I drum tech for No Effects. And? And I play drums in the All American Rejects. Yeah. Um, so one time, I, I used to install satellite dishes, at, you know, at a summer job at people's houses. And I was halfway up the ladder, and I sneezed, shit my pants immediately, climb up to the top, leave all the satellite dish stuff up there, take off my underwear, slide right back down the ladder. Never called my boss. Never went back into work again. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> out. Uh, you got a shit story? No. Come on. I honestly don't. Let's oh, talk about me. poop. Hi, my name is Jen, and I play in the Bomb Pops. And um, what, I've always had a hard time shitting. Like it's, it's like they'll sit in there for a few days. And then when they come, they come. And um, But when I was probably about seven years old, I would consider this a core memory. I took a shit, and it hurt so bad. Like, I cried. And then um, I had to go get my mom because it went flush. And my mom came in the <laughs> room. She was like, oh, my God, that came out of you. And she couldn't get it down the toilet. It wouldn't flush. And she, <laughs> she grabbed a butter knife and chopped it up in the toilet bowl. <laughs> Hey, hips keep coming. The hips keep coming. And then she had to put Vaseline on my butthole because it hurt so bad. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I'm going to switch sides here. Yeah, yeah. Do you say, like, action or whatever? Uh, oh, hi, my name is Kent Jameson. I do sound for half the bands on the Punk and Drublick tour. Manager. Uh, and I manage no effects. And uh, you all probably know me from TV. Uh, I, I got a shit story that talks shit about Fat Mike. It's short and dumb. We were playing golf one time. We were quite far from the clubhouse. And Mike really had his shit really bad. And he stole my golf towel and took it in the woods and used it to wipe his ass. And he returned it and I cleaned my clubs with it for the rest of the day. What about the time I loaned you my shorts, Mike, and you pissed in them? Remember you peed my shorts? You didn't pee your shorts, you peed my shorts? Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, that's not the story. I'm Rugly. I have done everything for every single Fat Records band and Epitaph band, every one of them. Everything. And, wow, so one time I'm driving over the Bay Bridge, me and Jay Walker, famous fucking Jay Walker, and uh, in the Matters Mobile, by the way, stressing over the Bay Bridge, both of us got a shit. We're kind of tripping, looking, what the fuck we gonna do, man? We make it a gas station, sure, we'll go gas station we finally pull off we're totally stressed and gas station toilets closed we're both just like god damn it and in the back there there's a dumpster and we kind of look at it kind of some trash in it but fuck it climb in so i'm on this side he's on this side facing each other we're just squatting shit and looking at each other so i'm like maybe <laughs> high-fived at once i don't know use some trash to wipe our asses got back in the matters and took off wow. fucking rad i'm gonna i'm gonna go but i'm standing here Hi, I'm Fat Mike. Uh, I'm in the NoFX band and other bands. Uh, I was in Hawaii once uh, going to a bar called The Hideaway. Was it The Hideaway? From, yes. from Dog? Yes. From, yeah, the, the place the Dog did, Bounty Hunter did not want to go into because it was too sketchy. So I'm there with Timmy the Turtle and Fletcher. And we'd been doing some drugs the night before and I really had to go. And they have the worst bathrooms on, in Hawaii. They're terrible. You don't really want to sit on that seat. So, uh, and I and I just wanted to shit fast. I know it's diarrhea. I have to shit fast. Get it. Oh, I have a mic here already. Jesus Christ. Uh, so just like one big push, and I'll be out of there. 
but I guess I was tilted a little bit over and I pushed really hard and it fe I felt it come out, but there was no sound of the water. Oh. It didn't hit the water. Uh, <laughs> there's shit all over the wall and I'm like, ah, uh, I, well, I wiped, of course. Uh, I didn't have anything to flush. But what do you do? You can't ask for a mop or something. You can't say, I just shit on your wall. Can I clean it up? So I, I got out of there. And I, I went, well, yeah. So I went to the bar and, you know, a tragedy plus five minutes is funny. And I told Fletcher and Timmy, I go, I just took a shit on the wall in there. On the wall? Yeah, and Fletcher's like, I got to see this. So he went in to take photos. And right when he went in, Johnny, the owner, walked in. Motherfucking Fletcher! <laughs> <laughs> and he wouldn't rat on me, right? He doesn't rat on you. He's like, I fucking took that heat for you. And we left because it was a dangerous place. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay. Uh, my name's Josh. I play drums in the Bomb Pops, and I don't have nearly as good of shit stories as everyone else, but I shit my pants at the Grand Canyon one time. Uh, got out of the van, everyone's going out, and I was just like, ah, I'm just gonna take a piss real quick. Going to the porta potty, peeing, I got a fart. I fart, and shit, I didn't shart. I shit my pants. Uh, so, what do you do? You just fucking take off your underwear, wipe up, and then go see the Grand Canyon. It was a good time. Yeah, All right. That's a big place to take shit. I mean, no, I, it's the best right. place I've ever shit my pants. It's a good one. Hi, I'm Baby B. I do merch for No Effects, The Gimmies, blah, blah, blah. Um, and on this tour, we were in Milan. And, uh, I was with The Gimmies. We, had, we were there for the evening. And I had a shit really bad, but there was the club was closed. So I walked down the street, and I found out what I thought was a safe, good spot to shit somewhere kind of off the street. And uh, pull my pants down, and I get ready to go, and I look up, and a camera is just staring straight at me. <laughs> so I... I pucker up because I get nervous and then I pull my pants up and I, I go down the street the other way and I find a nice field and I, I shit in a bag and I leave the bag there for, for the Italians. So. You're outstanding in your field, Bibi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Great. Pass it back. Jesse. Hello. I'm Jay Graves. I'm the monitor, engineer, and occasional keyboard player for NoFX. Um, I, I, uh, so in seventh grade, Everyone had the person that they hated in seventh grade. Uh, the guy I hated, his name was Anthony Lago, and also everybody hated him. And uh, he uh, he's the kind of guy who would walk up to you when you're working on like a car in shop class on like a belt sander and be like, hey, hey. And you'd be like, Anthony, what the fuck do you want? And he'd be like, what's up? And then you'd give him a pound and he'd walk away and be really weird. Uh, anyway, so I, uh, I was pissing in a urinal and uh, Anthony walked into the bathroom and there are five urinals. I'm at the most right. That means there are three acceptable urinals to piss at. He parked it directly next to me. So I decided I was going to fart on Anthony. I was gonna tell my friends I farted on Anthony. They were gonna tell their friends I farted on Anthony. He would go home and kill himself and then I would never have to see him again. It's problem solved. Problem was I went to go fart on Anthony and released what felt like a gallon of liquid diarrhea shit directly onto Anthony leg. Yes! I, I shit with such force that it moved my jeans. I've been fat forever. Do you know how Your heavy jeans? fat guy jeans are? They're so heavy. So I ran into the bathroom stall and stood on top of the toilet because I also was in seventh grade and no one can see you shit in seventh grade or else everyone's going to think you're retarded. So I hid in the bathroom and then Anthony left without washing his hands and I was like, you're fucking disgusting. And then I waited for 20 minutes for the period bell to ring and uh, I then made my way as if in Assassin's Creed, through the hallways without trying to be seen. But Jody, who was a cheerleader, just started hugging me because she thought I was funny on the bus. And I saw her and we locked eyes in the hallway. And she went in for a hug and I straight up blew underneath her and just walked away from her and she never hugged me again. I went down to the nurse's office. I said, Miss, we were on a first name basis. She was like, John, what do you want? And I was like, I need to go home. She's like, what happened now? And I lifted up my jeans and I showed her my shit covered socks. She made me wait in a nurse's office bathroom. So I tried to clean myself up with nurse's office bathroom toilet paper. And in New York, that's just made of this waxy material that if it gets near an asshole, it just falls apart and breaks everywhere. And you just get shit and paper all over yourself. I also was a size 36 jeans uh, in seventh grade. Uh, so Woo! the only pants that would fit me <laughs> were a pair, and I shit you down. not, a pair of sweatpants from the girls' locker room that said Juicy on the ass. And I did wear them. Juicy! And my mom came to pick me from up. From now on, that's his nickname. Juicy! Juicy! Juicy, Juicy. I'll take it. Juicy I, I'm for it. It's not wrong. 
Uh, so my mom came and picked me up, and the next day I was begging her to let me qu like quit school, and I didn't want to go back. And she was like, no, you have to go back to school. And then I explained her the story, and she was like, oh, you definitely have to go back to school. So I was, like, dreading going because I thought everyone was going to know that I shit on anything like And so first period went by, nothing. Fourth period. Get all the way to ninth period. I'm in gym class with Miss and I'm feeling very magnanimous because no one has said a thing to me about it. And I realized the reason why no one has heard about this is because if I shit on Anthony and if Anthony came up to me and was like, hey, I got a great story to tell you, I'd be like, I got a great story, Anthony. Go fuck yourself. I don't give a shit about anything you have to say to me. So the only reason why I was not a social pariah for shitting on a guy was he was such a loser that that couldn't even fix him. Anyway, I'm Jay Grape. Thanks for letting me share. <laughs> Jason Grape! <laughs> All right, I'm Remington. I play guitar in the Bomb Pops. A uh, few years ago, my band was traveling in a fifth wheel trailer uh, instead of like a van or anything like that. And so it 100% did not have a grinder in the toilet whatsoever. So there was like absolutely no shitting in, in this fifth wheel. But somebody was the entire time and we knew it, couldn't figure out who it was, <laughs> but it had gotten so bad and it was like in the middle of winter. So all the pipes and everything got fucked up in the trailer. And so we're driving down the highway and all of a sudden the entire left side where the toy, like where the tank was or whatever just blows out and sprays shit all over like 14 cars next to us. <laughs> so we were just driving, all these cars get covered and we're just like, fuck, take the next exit. We're like, fuck that. We're getting way the hell out of here. Not telling anybody that was us. Hopefully none of those people, like some of them were just like, what the fuck? Like swerving around trying to figure out what the fuck it was. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, like copious amounts of uh, punk rock shit. It was you that shit was shitting in there the whole time, wasn't it? Uh, I like how you told that story. <laughs> yeah. We, we never found out, obviously. No, so, no. yeah. Right. We destroyed a lot of cars. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, I'm Danny. I do sound for Ignite. And years ago, I had some poison food, so you didn't know if it was like solid or not, so shit on my pants a couple of times. So since then, I always got some diapers with me. I do. Yes. I am Caesar. I'm taking care of some sound stuff for the festival. Um, I don't have a great poop uh, story, but I have a piss story, which is kind of funny because it was actually a show. So I'm like eight years old. And we are in a Divididos show. Divididos is a band from Argentina. And my brother puts me here so I can see the stage for a while. And yeah, everything. It's just fucking rainfall of piss and a little bit of poop as well. But basically piss. So fucking I was the second show, second song of the show. And I fucking piss all over him. So he got a couple of beers and threw some beers on him and tried to wash and that's it. It's All not right. a very <laughs> long Mr. Pissy Pants. Yeah. So that's it. Fantastic. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Brett. I Brett! What's up? Brett! I play bass in Ignite. Uh, 2006, I think, we were on tour with Pennywise, Circle Jerks, playing Ram's Head Live in Baltimore. Yeah. And uh, after loading, I'm in dropping a deuce in the toilet, and somebody comes in and sits next to me, and I do my thing, leave. Everything's fine, normal. And I'm changing bass strings, and I see Fletcher come out of the bathroom. Oh, boy. And he's looking at everybody's shoes. And then he comes over <laughs> to me, and he goes, were you just dropping a deuce in the bathroom? And I go, yeah, why? He goes, I was in the stall next to you. Uh, and I was like, okay, what's up? And he goes, interesting feet position. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I go, what do you, I go, what, what do you mean? And he goes, just in, with that Fletcher smirk, and then he just goes, interesting feet position and walks away so since then <laughs> since then in public when somebody comes and sits next to me I don't know what to do with my feet Fletcher <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eli I sing in Ignite and uh, I'm really weird about poop so I try to like hide it all the time so I don't really have a, a good story but one time I went into the stall and I was in there for a while because it was like, a, you know, a three-act uh, course, if you will. <laughs> and the girls from the Bomb Pops were like right outside. And I knew they knew what I did. So I, now the fucking tour is it's, it's screwed. That's my story. Hey. Uh, Go on with it. Scared? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, first off, I want to... Yeah, you better speak up. 
Hi. Okay. So I want to commend Megan. You got to say who you are and what band you're in. Oh, my name is Whitney motherfucking Flynn. I play in Days and Days and other bands. And I want to say that Megan Melchel. Did I pronounce that right? Nailed it. Megan has been such an incredible force of friendship because the first day of tour, yeah, you, yes, the first day of tour. Something nice. Yes. I went to, we had to go to Guitar Center. I thought I just had to piss. But then when I pulled up my pants, I was just like, okay, it's just like a tiny little, far, you know, no. Sheared, like, shot all down my... And I looked at myself in the mirror. I didn't clean it up at first. That's fine. <laughs> I just had to really just take in... Savor it. Who, who I am. Because this was... The, Custies! The first day of tour in a guitar center. Shat, like, shat myself. And I was like, fine. Okay. And then... So I pulled my shirt down and I figured that out. And then I went to the car or the van. Sorry. And I told Megan, I was like, tell everyone that I got my period. And that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why, that's why I had no pants on. <laughs> so thank you, Megan. And also, Jesse, I will never forgive you for the poop bag. And. That's his story to tell because that's his that's poop story. <laughs> All right, Chris, he's a guitar center. I'm done. Oh, you don't want to say Ash is next. I'm passing. Oh. You gotta go. So I'm Ash, and I hang around and do as little as possible. And this is this is going to sound like a poop story, but I promise you it was the best shit I ever had. I met this girl at a nightclub once and I take her home. Train spotting, train spotting. And she jumps straight on top of me. We're having sex and she picks up this towel from next to the bed while she's riding me. And she starts tying like a little <laughs> knot in the end of it. As, as one does. And I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is this? And then before I know it, she shoved it up my ass. <sighs> and I'm like, yo, I am not about this, but she's not playing with that. And she's like, just tell me when you're going to come. I've got to take it out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like... That's how you do it. Okay. So... <laughs> we finish that off. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to come. And right as I do, she yanks that towel out. And I shat all over the bed. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and before well, I know it... That's a fucking come. I'm not going to lie. Story. It was the best orgasm of my life as well. Yes! <laughs> but it Wait. was a little weird afterwards when she just started rolling around in it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh you bet that. And that's me out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, my name's Kevin. I play guitar in Ignite. She's German. Um, if you know me, you know I'm I'm quite shy and I uh, embarrass easily. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we were playing a, a club in Germany, um, maybe about three, four hundred people. The doors had opened, uh, so it was relatively full, and there was only one bathroom in the place, and it was up front by the door, and I had to take a shit, and there was literally nowhere else to go. It's like a industrial area, nothing around. And I go into the bathroom and there is just one toilet and there's no door on the stall. There's no stall or anything, just the door to the room. And there's no lock on the door. Gilman Street. Yeah. And so I just, uh, I was like, fuck, I gotta, I, I gotta, I guess I gotta do this, right? So I sat down and uh, I took a shit like in front of all these people that kept walking in and it was <laughs> like the most embarrassing thing in my life. <laughs> you ever been to jail, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been to jail. So that's Good story. Hey, what's up? I'm Craig. I play drums in Ignite. Um, not a great storyteller, and there's no way it's even going to compare to any of the stories you guys have told. Uh, I was staying at a friend's house, and I was in the kitchen making tea, and I thought I had to fart, but really I just blasted ass all over the kitchen floor. <laughs> Fucking panic, because him and his wife are in the next room. 
and <laughs> fucking yeah, take everything off, wash it off, get it in the dryer, clean everything up. The dryer, huh. or the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gotta get that shit dried out there. And uh, literally, fucking right when I got cleaned up, they came walking through the door. And I'm hey. just there, and there was like a cup of tea, like. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you got away with it. Fucking, I would have been kicked out of that place. Hi, my name is Matt. I play bass in Days and Days, and this is my scatological confession. Uh, I have taken every opportunity to take a shit in no effects bathroom this entire tour, and I'm not going to stop. <laughs> hey! This is my scatological. Sounds not my bus. Fantastic. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? I want to talk about this, but Whitney's really <laughs> insistent that I revisit the story. We were in, I think it was Oak Harbor, Washington, right? We played with Potbelly, and uh, after the show, we were all hammered drunk. This was years ago. We we're all even crustier and <laughs> gnarlier than we are now. Lately. So I think Whitney was hammered, passed out like upside down, kind of in the car with her shoes on, like I face every day, like where the gas a pedal goes. For a month. And uh, Jeff had pooped in a bag for some reason, hmm. and we just threw it in the in the car so under her head. And she woke up. So she woke up with the poop bag pillow. And sometimes that's just how the night turns out. You know, that's how the morning really? goes. <laughs> that's a poop bag. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> My name is Chris Grau, and I do video for no effects. And uh, my shit story is that one time uh, I was out doing fireworks with a friend of mine, just driving around the neighborhood, like, you know, doing little fireworks here and there. And we drove past this one guy's house, and he was like, man, that guy was the worst to me in high school. He used to, like, rat me out every time I did anything. He'd always get me in trouble. I was in detention all the time because of this guy. And I was like, fuck that guy. So we went to 7-Eleven, and I grabbed a coffee filter. I went in the alley behind the 7-Eleven, and I shit in the coffee filter in my hand. We went back to his mailbox, and we put an M80 in it, oh, lit no. the fuse, closed the door, and drove away. So, that was my revenge. What a bad kid you are. He didn't Thank do anything you. to you. No, but I got him back. Uh, what's up? I'm Nick. I play guitar at Ignite. And uh, I got to be honest with you, I have a great shit story, but it's not mine. It's Brett's, and I would like <laughs> to forewarn you that there's a visual component That's to allowed. It. That's allowed. There's a visual. I was there. So, uh, yeah, story goes, uh, Ignite's playing the, what was it, Soda Bar, San Diego. Grown men, you know, we're going to eat some fucked up Mexican food right before we go on stage, right? That's good, jostling around a little bit. Uh, we're, we're, it's best told in the dark, to be honest. I got you, I got you. It was a night just like tonight. A moonless sky up above. So we, we're loading out. Uh, Brett and I are, are carpooling together, so yeah, all right, we're, we're in the same car, and uh, get the gear in there. I, I'm, I'm feeling a little like, okay, you know, I might not make it up to Orange County with, with what's going on in my own intestines. Brett's a little older than me. He's, he's the senior member of the band, as you may uh, see here. That's not bleached hair. That's, that's just great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Brett goes, hey, hey, <clears throat> we're rolling out. We're in an alleyway. He goes, pull over real quick, and I go, I know what's going to happen. So he gets out. I don't really see him for a minute or two. Pretty quick, pretty tactical thing. He gets back in and we're like, okay, uh, let's go. And he goes, hang on, hang on. I just took a fucking, like annihilated my fucking bowels out onto, he's like, I think, I, I think it hit the wall behind me. <laughs> and he's like, can we pull around and take a look? And I'm like, oh yeah, we gotta take a look. So we get out. I put the fucking headlights on it, and it's one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And it's also incredible. And Brett, if you could pull up the picture. Yeah!